Hello and welcome back to Planetarium, where we discuss the Space Chronicles beyond Earth. In today's video, we'll discuss the terrifying data that NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft has been transmitting back to Earth. Nearly 50 years after its launch, Voyager 1 is still traveling across undiscovered regions of the cosmos. Scientists are puzzled by the scary data that this famous space probe machine is sending back to Earth due to what appears to be a malfunction. Since the Big Bang, scientists have been interested in learning more about the realms beyond, which inspired the launch of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, among other space missions. The Voyager 2 was the first spacecraft to launch, departing from the NASA Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. Two weeks later, on September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 was launched on a faster, shorter trajectory. Both were launched during a window of unique outer planet alignments that caused a slingshot effect to launch the spacecraft from one planet to another. How did they switch places as twins? Both probes weigh 720 kilos, or approximately the same as a small car. However, they have had to move at various speeds and trajectories. On December 15, 1977, Voyager 1 could pass its identical twin because of this, and since then, it has been our go-to resource for learning about facts and space-related riddles. The first spacecraft to do so was this one, when it began its Jovian imaging mission in 1978. It was around 265 million kilometers from our planet and sent many photographs back to us. The Voyager 1 completed an outstanding 100-hour stint beginning in January 1979, during which it captured 3,750 images of Jupiter's rotation to produce a time-lapse movie showing 10 of the planet's spins. It had passed through the Jovian moon system in February 1979 and a month later, it had found the little rings surrounding Jupiter. Voyager 1 also made a unique discovery when it found two new moons, Phoebe and Metis. Corrective maneuvers would be made to ensure that the spacecraft is ready for its flyby of Saturn and to prevent a potential collision with Titan, one of Saturn's moons. Voyager 1 also found four other moons during its orbit of Saturn, including Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, Dione, and Rhea. Scientists opted to halt the Voyager planetary mission after the Saturn missions was completed and sent both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 outside of our solar system at a speed of 325 million miles per year. Later, in January 1990, the new mission, officially known as the Voyager Interstellar Mission, got underway. Some of the most famous photographs in the history depicting the Sun and most of the planets were taken by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990, while it was 6 billion kilometers from the Sun. They are frequently referred to as the Solar System Family Photo. There were 60 total shots taken by Voyager 1, bringing the total number of photos taken by the spacecraft to 670. Even though Mercury and Mars cannot be seen in the photos for various reasons, in the end, the spacecraft's cameras were shut off to conserve power and memory before its trip to interstellar space. In addition to the interstellar probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, NASA also operates the Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons spacecraft. Before Voyager 1 passing by the Pioneer 10 on February 17, 1998, the Pioneer 10 was the furthest spacecraft. Voyager 1 continued its journey for 14 years before it finally arrived in the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012. With no other space probes to catch up with, NASA didn't publicly announce the accomplishments until 2013. In November 2018, both space probes officially left the solar system when Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause and entered the interstellar medium. Voyager 1 is thought to be 14.5 billion miles from Earth. It has continued to provide us with information that no other space probe missions have been able to divulge since it entered the undiscovered territory beyond our solar system. The spaceship has spent most of its 45 years trip in space in good health. However, in recent times, experts have found some odd anomalies in its performance. Voyager 1 is transmitting enigmatic signals back to Earth, giving the impression that it is unsure of its location coordinates. There is a scary twist to the issue, though. Normally, scientists have pre-programmed Voyager to go into safe mode or sound an alarm if it becomes lost in space. But up until this point, it hasn't. Additionally, its antenna, which transmits data back to Earth, 
appears to be in great working order. However, the data it has recently been transmitting is suspicious. Every spacecraft headed towards interstellar space, including Voyager 1 and 2, has a special 12-inch diameter gold-plated disc loaded with audio and video messages as a backup in case an alien species discovers the ship. 35 Earth noises, 115 life photos, 90 minutes of Western music, and greetings from former US President Jimmy Carter and former UN Secretary General Kurt Walheim are just a few of the contents on the Space DVD. Additionally, they are recorded in 55 different languages, so if it were taken over by aliens, they would presumably be attempting to decode the signals. Scientists have quickly refuted thoughts that the spaceship is currently under the direction of aliens. According to Susan Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2, a mystery like this is powering for the course at this point in the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are about 45 years old, much older than what was envisioned in the mission plan. Susan Dodd also acknowledges that the spacecraft's engineering crew will encounter some significant difficulties in resolving the problem with Voyager 1 because of the distance between us and the space probe. A rescue operation is nearly impossible. Messages received from Earth at the speed of light take almost 21 hours to reach its current location, implying that two-way communication between Earth and the spaceship takes an average of two days. NASA said in another statement that until the cause of the problem is better understood, the team cannot predict how long the spacecraft will be able to gather and transmit science data. Nonetheless, Susan Dodd and the engineering team know the problem will be solved. If it's something that can be fixed with the ACS, perhaps a solution can be discovered soon and Voyager will be back to its best. But whatever happens to it, we may be thankful that this renowned space probe has already done its purpose. In conclusion, Voyager 1 is sending back terrifying data to Earth, and scientists are baffled by what appears to be a malfunction. However, despite the odd anomalies in its performance, Voyager 1 is still functioning regularly, taking instructions from Earth and carrying them out, and collecting and transmitting scientific data. While the cause of the problem is still unknown, scientists are working hard to resolve it, and we can only hope for the best. Voyager 1 and 2 have been the pioneers in space exploration, providing us with vital information about the unknown realms beyond our solar system. Their journeys have lasted longer than anyone could have predicted. Their accomplishments are a testament to the hard work and dedication of the scientists and engineers who made them possible. We should be grateful for the invaluable insights and data these space probes have provided us and continue to do so, even as they venture deeper into the unknown. With the mysteries that still surround our universe, it is clear that the Voyager mission is not over, and we eagerly await the discoveries that Voyager 1 and 2 will reveal in the future. On that note, we'll wrap up today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. And we'll see you in the next one.